Hello viewers, welcome to Edim TV, a station whereby we are going to learn and uh, interact together. We are going to have our biology from 4 lesson 12 and at the start, uh, whereby your tutor will be Mr. Gerald. We are going to handle the topic on genetics and the subtopic, the mechanisms of evolution. Uh, several theories have been formulated to explain how evolution may have occurred. Among these theories are those proposed by Jean Baptiste de Lamarck in 1809 and also Charles Darwin in the year 1859. But before that, we're going to have the following lesson goal whereby by the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe the mechanisms of evolution. Uh, we are going to first, we're going first to start with the, the Lamarck theory. Remember, we have said there are several theories which also include the Charles Darwin theory, but then we are going first to start with the Lamarck theory. Uh, Lamarck proposed that one. Uh, Lamarck proposed one of the earliest known hypotheses regarding the mechanisms of evolution. He proposed that when the environment demanded the need or use of a particular structure in an organism, the organism developed in response to the demand. This le therefore led to the natural use or disuse of structures, producing changes in the individual during its, life, its lifetime. Lamarck proposed that these changes or structures that were acquired during the lifetime of an individual we are then transmitted to their offspring and subsequent generations, resulting in the emergence of new forms or new species. These new forms acquired certain advantages over the ancestral forms in the exploitation of a particular ecological niche. He cited the example of the development of the long neck of the giraffe, which developed as the result of the ancestral form towards the... Um, towards the um, Actually, uh, we are saying, sorry, he cited the example of development of the long neck of the giraffe, which developed as a result of ancestral forms towards the higher levels of vegetation in competition with other browsers for food. The long neck trait uh, so developed was passed on to successive generations, which then uh, uh, gi giving them an advantage over the shorter naked forms. Especially, eventually, a new longer naked uh, species were formed. So you can see that from a diagrammatic representation, a short neck uh, neck to giraffes cannot uh, reach um, the twigs, but the long necked giraffe is uh, it has got the ability of reaching uh, to the twigs. Another example to illustri illustrate the Lamarck theory is the appearance of the flightless uh, birds, such as the ostrich. We have also the emu and kiwi. They are reduced and uh, functionless wings probably results from their disuse in an environment not requiring uh, flight. The Lamarck's explanation on the role of environment is in directing phenotype changes in individuals is valid. For example, a bodybuilder will have huge muscles due to continuous use of the muscles. However, it is, it is in his explanation that acquired characteristics are inherited that makes his theory unacceptable. Phenotypically acquired characteristics which do not affect the genotype of an individual cannot be inherited. So that is how, why are his... Um, Theory was discredited. Now we are going to look at our second uh, scientist who was known as Charles Darwin. Whereby we are going to look at uh, Darwin's theory of natural selection. Whereby in his book of Natural Species, um, he proposed an explanation for the mechanism of evolution in contrast to Lamarck theory. Darwin put forward his explanation based on a concept he called natural selection. Um, actually, that he used what we know as uh, the, uh, in the Struggle for existence, individuals with advantageous variations are well adopted to the environment. For example, we can have the giraffes. Since they are suitable to the environment, they are selected for, for hence survive and reproduce. Those that are poorly ad adapted perish and do not transmit their characteristics. This is called survival for the fittest. So in our diagrammatic presentation, you can see the short naked giraffes, I mean because they are lacking food, eventually they will die because they may not be able to reach the twigs which are very far but for the uh, long naked giraffe here it will be able to reach um, the leaves and it will uh, reproduce thus uh, its um, successive generations uh, will be having long necks but these ones the, with the small um, necks actually they will um, they will not survive the term struggle for existence and survival of the fittest are sometimes misunderstood. Rather than implying act, act, actual physical uh, struggle and strength, they are used to mean respectively environmental pressures and on population and any advantageous variation an individual possesses to make it uh, survive for. For example, 
A critically colored individual does not struggle to escape predators, but its color and camouflage is uh, camouflage it, thus it escapes pred uh, predation. According to Darwin, natural selection is a chance occurrence. Neither the environment nor the individual itself controls the direction of change. So it is just by chance that a certain individual or species is treated to a particular environment or environmental changes. Those individuals that are selected for reproduction thus transmit the variation to their offspring. The gradual accumulation of small variations from generation to generation over a long period of time leads to emergence of new uh, forms of species. The variations that Darwin regarded as the raw materials for the process of evolution have now been traced to changes that occur at the level of the gene or what we call the chromosome. These changes are called uh, mutations. Remember in our previous lessons we have uh, done something on uh, mutations which uh, include the gene and also the chromosomes. So if you have um, not um, subscribed or um, according these lessons you can uh, uh, look at uh, them so that you uh, know what is happening. Organisms with beneficial mutations are able to pass them on to their offspring during reproduction. Sexual reproduction is particularly significant since meiosis leads to new combination while the fertilization spreads the genes widely in the population. Transmission of such mutations through many generations could lead to the emergence of new species. The emergence of, of uh, new species requires a long time and is also affected by the rate of mutations that are particularly uh, 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 a particular species and a ghost. Having uh, done and said that, we are going to have the following activity whereby you are required to explain the theory of natural selection. And for more of this lesson, you can refer to KLB Secondary Level Student Book 4, which is the fourth edition of uh, Kenya Literature Bureau. And also, to get this lesson and many more, you can send us an SMS through the number that is on our screen, or you subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Elimu TV, or you subscribe to our Facebook page, which is also Elimu TV, or you tweet us at Elimu TV underscore Kenya. Let us subscribe to all these channels so that we may enjoy more of our biology lessons. Thank you.